Welcome back to Blast Guys Reviews. In this review, we're going to take a look at the Eagle Force 118 scale Sandstorm action figure, the Desert Warfare Specialist. This is the collector friendly packaging that it comes in. It's kind of like your Boss Fight Studio. You can slide the card out and slide the toy and the accessories out and put it all back when you're done if you so desire. Um, you got to hold it like this because of the lights glaring on this plastic pretty bad. So, on the front here, we do have the Eagle Force logo. I'll show you here in a second because uh, it might it might glare a little bit, but it's hard with this lighting. Uh, Global Premier Strike Force to fight worldwide injustice and tyranny. Uh, I don't know about you, but it kind of reminds me of a Dusty. So, but he's pretty cool, and he's Wanty Scale. So we're not getting too many Wanty Scale figures, military figures at least. So I grabbed this bad boy up pretty quickly. And I'm going to go ahead and try to show you guys a bigger ver uh, view of the top of that card. But that light is just glaring like crazy. Very nice. I'm going to go ahead and turn this around. It's just so glaring because, yeah, well, I guess it's still going to glare. So it's the best we can here. There's the top of it. If you want to go ahead and pause and read that about Sandstorm, you can. I'll hold it for a few more seconds. Moving on, here's a Royal Car Series 5, the Cross Cell, Big Eye Toy Store exclusive, UPC, and then a warning for checking hazards and all that good stuff. So, yeah, looks like a fantastic figure, and basically, like I said, it's collector friendly. It just gotta slide out the card. And all that glaring, you see why I take off the plastic off of most of my figures before my review because this is really a challenge. You get a bag of stuff that's kind of like hidden behind the figure. And, and he just falls out. He wants to look so bad. So let's take a look at him. All right, there he is outside the packaging. That's what most of us want to see is the figure. Uh, this figure has some very cool surprises. So uh, stay tuned. He does come a bunch of accessories. So let's check him out. Here's the head sculpt. Looks pretty good. Light brown hair. He has the brown camo on his face. Pretty nice. Looks good. He has his tack vest, which is removable. He has some silver grenades. The flat black like, straps. Some of those grenades on his belt. Nice detailing. Very cool. Get the silver little studs throughout to really break up that tan. We have the insignia here on his arm. It's very nice. Straps on the side, on that side also. In the back of the figure kind of has that different layer from the uh, biggest to the smallest little pads. There's silver studs throughout, if you can see them, some pouches. We have the camo pants, pretty cool. Then we have the gun case on his thigh, silver straps. Nice, nicely painted, very cool. We had the knee pads, very nicely sculpted. Here's his boots, nice weathering. Sculpting details on his boots, it's pretty cool. Actually has soles, two holes in his feet. It's pretty cool. So, give me a, kind of a 360 look at him. Samstone's awesome, he's 118 scale. So that's pretty nice. Um, this goes really well with your Joy Toy and your G.I. Joes. So if you want to extend your military, if you don't really collect um, Eagle Force, you don't have to because you can just buy the ones you like, which is kind of what I do. There's several of them I don't like. There's some, some kind of goofy ones in my opinion, but that's my opinion. doesn't mean they're goofy to you. I mean, to me, they're just not for me. I... Uh, like you know my military figures versus some other the uh alien they have some aliens and stuff like that um so there's i think there's always something for somebody in the eagle force line so that's what's really cool about it so you can check that out obviously on big bad toy store <laughs> i think i might have found out why he has two uh holes in his feet because he might need a stand but do get a baggie of just goodies so let's go ahead and dump those out and see what we got here 
Okay, now I can't open the bag. It's child proof. Oh, nope. It's collector proof. Aha. Defeated. See that? Uh, looks like you get a bunch of uh, hands. So, that's always not fun. But, here's a stand. Eagle Force. Pretty cool. Just gray. Um. Oh, yeah. That fits real nice. And then you can put... It's kind of spread out pretty far, for my opinion, but, um, not too bad. The stand, that's pretty awesome. Um, you get some other stuff too, so. Wow, there is some tiny stuff in here. So, here's this beret. I like that dark brown trim around it. Is that a signia? I mean, that is small. There, pretty cool. That goes on his head. That fits for real nice. So that looks pretty cool. I think they kind of sculpted his. I think it was really clever. They kind of sculpted his hair and made the fit that they had to fit his hair. So that's what makes it stay very nicely. Very cool. Um. He comes with his assault rifle. Um, it's kind of on the small side. I think it's a little undersized, in my opinion. We have the light brown with the black on it. It's kind of small. Um, let's see compared to the, oops, to that gun. Yeah, it's definitely undersized. So that's unfortunate for such a cool figure, but. Not a deal breaker because I can use whatever, or it doesn't look bad. Little bent there, Oops. pretty cool looking. Um, it comes with a pistol too. I like the pistol, I think it's really awesome. It's very small, the silver, the tin -ish handle, very cool. Um with that gun right there for a sec and I think like the articulation in his hand is fantastic this demonstration of the articulation on these figures are really good pretty cool So I'm going to go ahead and do the articulation on the figure because uh, the other parts are going to, so I'm going to swap out uh, some other parts. So uh, I'm going to show you the articulation with the, these parts on this figure. Uh, the head does rotate 360. You can look down. You can look back. Not too far back. Then he has the side to side. Arms rotate 360. You can get higher than a T-pose on these guys. They were really, oh wow. That's pretty good. There is no the uh, 60 foot one your arms. There's no bicep cut. They have a single jointed elbow. The wrists are the wrists are what's crazy. Up and down. Insane range. And obviously there's a 360 rotation there too. Um let's see here. Let's take off his vest. And I'll go back to that here in a second. No articulation here in the uh, chest or stomach, but he has a movement here to waist, back and forth, side to side. Um, it's a rotation 360, but it really gets caught up because it's sculpted. I'm not forcing it because well, these retail for like $26.99, and I'm not just going to break one of my figures that I just bought. You just sit. So you can sit in your Joe vehicles, your any your any one team scout vehicles. You got um pretty good splits. It's way <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Um double jointed knees, so that's cool. Feet do pivot down, up a little bit, and then you have the Boot cut, and you might have that rocker effect where maybe not. 
Yeah, you can go around the ankle. It's really stiff, but these things around the ankle, which will eventually give you that rocker that you're looking for for the side-to-side -side motions. Um, so it's pretty well articulated. So pretty cool. 360. The elbow, I think I said that right. It's pretty cool. I like the way that his hands turn out with that pistol. That's pretty awesome. Might be able to squeak out maybe a dual wield on that thing. Putting a lot of pressure on the figure and I don't want to do that. So that's pretty cool. Um, so take the pistol off his hand and see if it fits very nice in this case. Pretty good. Well, it's not very that tight. It stays in there, but it ain't the greatest uh, for friction. But it's pretty good. So if he falls over, it may um, pop out and be on your table or display. So something to watch out for. I took off the vest. And you can see here, that's what that looked like. But it's missing this piece here. This is basically a front flap here. And it, it just pegs in. So it can be kind of module. So if you want this or not, I'm not sure why would that be important. That kind of is removable. This is kind of how it connects. It's pretty flexible. The reason that you can swap different, like a little bit of loadout there, because you get two alternate head sculpts, which is a surprise. And then you get this figure, so it's really cool. So you get uh, this version. This is basically, you can army build this if you want. Let's go to put the head on the body, okay. Okay, at least it has a good connection point on there. Ball drain peg. Oh boy, that's really tough. Okay, there we go. It's hard sometimes to see through the camera to do that, but that's what that looks like. And then again, he has his articulation. That's pretty cool for Trooper. And then if you wanted to have Sandstorm with this full body gear, let's see if I can get this on over the head. You basically maybe take that out for Sandstorm and put it in for the Trooper, or Troopers, you're gonna see here in a second. Um, pretty cool. That goes in pretty decently, pretty easily. So you have it kind of like this. And it exposes that. It's definitely going to help your sitting ability. And then with the pistol, see that? And you can pop this back on if you like. If you want that look for the heavier uh, protective uh, plate carrier or armored vest. So that's pretty cool. Uh, the, alternate, the alternate head you get is the one with the flesh tone mouthpiece. And I'm going to pop this head off and attempt to put this one on. Usually when you first get the new heads and you're swapping them out, they kind of need this to be put on once or twice and then they kind of get that shape. Okay, here he is. Looks pretty good. So you have that option. Um, you can maybe use uh, one or the other as like a sergeant or squad leader or whatever if you want to army build these guys for troopers for desert troopers but they look pretty cool so that I mean you get that's a lot of options just right there for this figure now they are actually a little more on the pricier side but um it is what it is okay we have sandstorm back he does come with a pair of goggles here so, it does fit over his head pretty good, I think. Yeah. I mean, you can have him up on his forehead, kind of like that. Or you can bring him down if you want that look. So, it's really nice options for this figure. Very cool. Yeah, that's awesome. And he does uh, still wear his beret, like so, if you want that look. That's pretty cool. He comes with these very, very small rings. Now, 
Gotta hold on to these things. You get two of these. See if I can do this. I think these go on his wrist. I'm not totally sure. There's no instructions. But I'm pretty sure that's where this go. I think that makes sense. Like bands for his wrist. So be careful. These are, I mean, they're small. Super, super small. Now, if you're a lover of hands, man, Eagle Force got you covered. Because, first of all, you get these gloved open hands. This is like your grabbing hands. This is pretty cool. I am not going to swap all these hands out because there is entirely too many. So the gloved fisted hands. So that's pretty cool. Then we have same articulation you can see here. So the trigger figure hands. Pretty decent. Then we have another set here. That's one of like gripping hands. That is your glove covered hands. So there's some variety here in the ungloved hands. This is the flesh tan hands that are grabbing. Pretty cool. Um, normal gripping. And we have fist. And then you get a pair of chopping hands, basically. Flat hands. It kind of looks kind of weird, but. I get it. Yeah, you get a bit of other stuff with this guy. So he's a big bad toy, to big bad toy store exclusive, I guess. Um, that is a small toy company called um, Fresh Monkey Fiction here. So these are for dog collectors. Um, small batch toy company usually pay a little more for figures. So currently twenty six ninety nine. Um, if you want any. It's about average for a third, like a smaller batch, so yeah. Um, I recommend these cool. You have a lot of options. Um, decent figure, um, military figure, so hope you guys like this review of Stan Storm here. If you do, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. A lot of great stuff. Come check out all my videos and uh, don't forget to uh, hit the thumbs up be awesome i appreciate that well i'm gonna get out of here hope you guys uh have a great day and i'll see you guys in our next review